amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I want to show you arguably the easiest two ingredient hot recipe, a cooked recipe, chorizo a la sidra and in English chorizo cooked in cider. I think I gave it all away, those are the two ingredients for the recipe, the king of all sausages, Spanish chorizo in this case a fresh uh, sausage made with fantastic paprika inside, you know, with a bit of a smokiness, and then a good local dry cider. So all we have to do is to slice the chorizo into two centimeter slices, and you could actually uh, cook them whole as well. It, uh, they will cook perfectly fine, it will contain the juices inside, it will release a little bit less fat, but uh, because I want it as a little tapa, I decided to cut it into pieces. As this is going to be one of the shortest videos ever, I thought I would show you how to open the lid of one of these bottles when you don't have a bottle opener yourself. So all you have to do is to put it with your eye in here and make a lot of a trip. I was just joking. <laughs> That's one of my dad's old jokes. He's done it all his life and I find it fantastic because every, every time I do it, everybody's like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> joking aside, let's get on with the cooking. Add your chorizo into a saucepan and pour your dry cider and let it reduce down until there is only a couple of tablespoons left. Which brings me to say how generous chorizo is as an ingredient because whether you flash grill it for two minutes on your barbecue or you simmer it long and slow into a hot pot for three hours, it always has a fantastic texture and it gives fantastic flavor to anything you add it to. Here they are, my two ingredients put together. No stirring involved, 10 minutes to reduce down. Take a look at how syrupy it has become. All that remains really is the fat that the chorizo has released and the cider reduction, which there is next to nothing, maybe two tablespoons. Take a look at that. And that's part of the beauty and what I like in Spain, Sometimes they just leave it a bit too runny and I don't like that. I like to reduce it all the way so that you feel the sweetness, you feel the acidity and it becomes nice and sticky and syrupy. How beautiful. One of the uh, all-time favorite tapas actually. Let me have a little taste and as well don't forget about the bread because you will need it to mop up that sauce. I'm sure it's really really hot. Mmm, back full of flavor. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you cook it at home, given that it's only two ingredients. And see you next time. All the best and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.